Actually, my first film, uh, To Die Jerusalem, started as my student uh, film, Daughters of Abraham, in Southern Illinois University. It was part of my graduate uh, student work, and then it evolved into To Die in Jerusalem. Um, and then I went off to do something completely different, which is uh, a film about New Orleans called After the Storm. It's uh, really about how uh, love and art um, and community can actually help people uh, rebuild their life and it's a story of a group of young uh, uh, teenagers in New Orleans and their life today. Uh, it's actually very inspiring and happy. Uh, that's going to actually air on MTV Logo in October. When uh, my first film aired, uh, when Today Jerusalem aired on HBO for the first time, I actually realized that uh, the power of film. There are over a million viewers view just the first airing and then of course it kept airing and I just realized the power that I have and then I um, I really decided to focus my work on on films that has social importance that are to me are th topics that I think are very important to uh, discuss and that people will know about living in New York and I'm but I'm tr really living in airports and airplanes because I uh, Often when I shoot, then I go to all these different places, and um, and also I go to film festivals, and so I travel with my you know work, and also I'm working on new work, and then I sometimes going to teach or to speak after my films, and um, so I travel a lot. I'm finishing a, a new film about post-trauma stress disorder (PTSD) uh, that uh, I don't know yet. It's still in the making. And I'm working on film in China and some other, you know, you're always that many projects ahead because uh, it actually takes a long time from the time that you start your project to the time you complete it and then to the time you actually market it. When I went to Southern Illinois, I really learned uh, the, the tools of filmmaking and, uh, and of course, um, the discipline and getting things and uh, matching deadlines and uh, and also I, I had some really really good professors who really guided me through the process and and during my thesis um, project that I had to you know I did the film that was the base for today in Jerusalem they really guide me through you know from storytelling to production to uh, to how to make it and also how to get it out there in the world and also the freedom that I got I mean I think that uh, I was a student who really wanted to make things happen or really wanted to make my projects and the university really allowed me the freedom to take the equipment and to go do so if you you know if you motivated to do things then the university um, and the department that I was in which is the radio and television department really gave me the opportunity to do what I wanted to do it's not only how talented you are it's also how much you're pushing because it's, it's a very, it's like a rocky road. So you just have to keep going and keep going and eventually you'll get there.